We won't bow to Wiki. Atiku supporters in River State declare. Wow. So Wiki, I'm sure Wiki will start having problems in River State now, even though he's the governor. All right. The PDP uh, Atiku supporters the, in River State have said they will not bow to whatever Wiki is doing. They are not going to be loyal to him anymore. All right. I know there are some other PDP members in River State that are following Wiki as a leader. They declared that sometime last week. So another faction of PDP in River State have come out to say they support Atiku and won't bow to Wiki. Uh, so now the the fracas and the and the crisis in PDP is deepening further. Members of the Presidential Campaign Council of Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party PDP in River State, have come out together to declare that their support for Atiku remains absolute despite the harassment and threat of RS executive orders of Governor Nisun Wike. Director General of the Council in River State, Dr. Abiye Shekibo, made the declaration in Port Harcourt on Wednesday at a meeting with the Atiku Democratic Movement and Concern Ugoni PDP Elders Council in Port Harcourt. The former Minister of Transport urged the electorate in the state to ignore the dictatorial style of Governor Wiki and support Atiku Abubakar in the 2023 election. He said, we shall not worship the gold image that Nebuchadnezzar has set up in Babylon. We are the Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego of this time. He has set up a monument of gold, which is money, and he has asked the people to worship him, to do whatever he says. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, that the image you have set up, we will not worship it. That is where the article group in River State stands. They can tear article posters, bring out decrees, but we stand with the truth, he said. Hmm. On his part, a member of the council, Sir Celestine Omeya, said the internal crisis that rocked the party has been put to rest as they have moved on. Omeya stated, in every family, there must be misunderstanding, and coming together after the misunderstanding is what matters. We have moved on, and the crisis is no more to be talked about. What we are looking at right now is how to win elections, and every person will benefit thereafter, and there will be no discrimination. So whether any member of the family supports us or not, thereafter we will all benefit because the remedy is for the interest of Nigeria as a whole and the image of the country outside here. Also speaking, the chairman of the Concerned Ogoni PDP Elders Council, Dr. Boniface Amegwa, assured the council that his group would mobilize massively for Atiku Abubakar in the elections. We are here to show solidarity and support for the candidature of al Haji Atiku Abubakar. As elders, we represent all the wards of Ogoni, and when we go back, we are going to gather we are going to garner support through a door-to-door -door campaign to ensure that Atiku wins the wins, he stated. Can you imagine? So this is what is happening now in River State. Right? And these River State people are actually part of the presidential council, uh, campaign council for Atiku that is covering the River State branch. And now they are saying that they are the Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego of our time, that they will not worship the golden image that they erected by the Nebuchadnezzar. Wow, look at the analogy. Ah, <laughs> all right. So they have not chosen to worship the, the god of money that has been erected by Nebuchadnezzar. All right. Are we sure this is true? Are you sure Atiku is also not wooing them and possessing them by the same god of money? Because that is what it is. Atiku is buying his way through with his money. He believes he can buy anything with his money and he's ready to spend the money and he has the money to spend. All right, and he's using that money to buy people. So these ones are coming here to quote the Bible for us in Daniel. This actually happened in Daniel. All right, that they they, they are not going to worship the golden image, the god of money that they erected by Nebuchadnezzar. So what is that god of money? What is all these political politicians say? Eh? They have words in their mouth to woo people, to convince people that they mean what they're saying. But do they actually mean what they're saying? That is yet to be verified. Because they can't tell me that anybody following Atiku is not following Atiku because of money. 
They are following Atuku because of money. So don't tell us this one. Right? So another thing that I'm saying here is that they will not support uh, uh, Wiki in what he's doing. No matter the executive order and decree that is signing in River State to harass them, they can even tear their poster, they don't mind, but they will continue to support Atiku, and their support for Atiku is intact. Celeste Nomehia came to support that, and uh, again, uh, the Ogoni elders are also part of this discussion, and they're saying that they are the voice of the Ogoni people, and then when they go back to Ogoni, they will go and uh, do a door-to-door -door campaign to get people ready to support Atiku. Oh, wow. All right? So they will not be threatening the reverse state. They no, um, 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 Wiki will not force them to do anything. Rather, their, their support for Atiku remains intact and unshaken. Well, that is a good one. Everybody is free to support whoever he wants to support. All we are saying that it must not be violent and it must not be on character assassination. It must be based on issues and not really based on character assassination. All right? So it must be based on competence. It must be based on equity, justice, and fairness. So let's be sure that those are the, the criteria or the ethics guiding what we are, we are doing. So the people now in River State have vowed to support Atiku, and they said they will move on. All right, whatever is happening in PDP is just a family misunderstanding, and which the family will they come together later to resolve. That they have moved on, and they won't let all of those crises affect them. All they know is at the end of the day, they will win, and the whole family members will benefit from their winning, because they will make sure they will make life comfortable for everybody. And that is their own concern, how to win the election, and not to dwell on a prolonged crisis within the party. Oh, wow. So we hope all of this will transcend as they are saying it. We've got a few comments here. Let's see what somebody is saying. Um, all right. Somebody is saying, Mwike can never be close to being like Atiku when he joins the former league soon. All right. He will lack relevance and be inconsiderate because I don't think he thinks and acts straight. It all started after he leased or he lost the primary election to Atiku Abubakar. Wike is one of these plotters that plots the removal of Uche Secondus because of his selfish interest. And now it's time to pay for the price. Actions have consequences. Wow. So again, Wike cannot be because he can't be a traitor and treacherous like Atiku. Can you imagine? A man who betrayed his party for, for nothing but for his northern agenda cannot be trusted. So that is another thing again. Another person is coming on the other opposite side to say Mwike is not as treacherous as Atiku. All right? Because the party had agreed that the presidency should be zoned to the south. Unfortunately, Atiku bought his way through with his dollars and with his money and then bought Tambua to his side and Tambua frustrated Mwike at the primaries. And that was how Atiku emerged as the flag bearer. All right. So what Atiku is doing is actually against the party constitution and against party's uh, conclusion and agreement that presidency should be zoned to the south. Now, our wow. point of correction for national peace, Atiku is not a betrayer. Can you imagine what somebody is saying? But we are talking about the political, the the party constitution that Atiku refused to obey. Now, if you say Kibo is not worshiping an idol set up by Fulani and Atiku. How will you support another Notana to take over from another Notana? All right. Are you okay? Since Nigeria independent, have you seen that? <laughs> this is just like what I said. All right. Second boy is talking about being Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego for a time. But are worshiping the God of money coming from Atiku. So how can we believe that? How can we agree? <laughs> so it's, uh, it's, it is what it is. Let people just be careful what they say. Because whatever you do will haunt you sooner or later. So that is what you have. That is what Sekibo Group, the Articles uh, uh, PCC University branch is saying that they are solidly behind Articles and will not bow to Wiki's oppression. So let's have your comment as well. And thank you for listening.